All right, today I play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines on Linux once again. So I found out some solutions to some problems from last time. Um, there were, I think, during conversations, uh, little hiccups. So I decided to do another playthrough. I'm not going to delete the old one because I don't feel like playing with the Tremere again. So I've decided to make another one. This time it's gonna be with a female Toreador. Let's go. See if it works better this time. I think it will. Alright, that was a little interesting. Oh yeah, as per usual, I could say why not. Doesn't really matter, but I will name her. And let's see, it's been some time. I have to check out what they have. Okay, gives me woods, 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 defense and hacking. Point to perception. Ah, yes, this is another thing. I will try and make this character uh, more shooty shoot like because normally I go for, I would say, relatively all around character. Uh, we'll see how it ends up, but I'm gonna aim for some more guns on this playthrough. So what's was defense and hacking? This is well, this is not bad, I guess. It could serve me well. Use the hours of all living and undead within a tremendous distance. I don't know what good revealing their auras would do me, but sure, why not? Titan moves with uh, speed enhancement, but this probably slows time down. That could be nice, that could help with shooting enemies, kind of like a slow time effect. Although I don't think I'll have much problems with that most of the time. And those close to you suffer a penalty. Ah, that could also be nice, yes. Turn to defense strength, which is an melee, right? For protection purposes and perception. They won't be able to shoot me as much as well. Meh. Okay, well, not 100% sure what I wanna do here. All of these could be beneficial. This is gonna be interesting. If I go this way, I'm always gonna have to think about the bones they give me not use that maybe maybe i'll pick aspects and presence this only when they're close by and this will be good for bosses maybe maybe use the rate of attack the asian guy stuff like that Okay, here I'll go like this. I'm 
mean either way I think I want both this will be three points interesting we'll have to be maxed out this is gonna take some time some experience to max out All right, whatever, I'll do it like that. Not sure how about these and firearms. Accommodation, we don't want that. I could go for it. Oh, I could do it like this, wow. I mean, these aren't very expensive, but still. I have no I don't have any more points that's in abilities knowledge and oh shit two computer points yeah I don't have much lock picking right now though Okay, I'll go for that one. And so it begins. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, 
the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. What a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Yeah. Sure, as always. But before that, who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Until then, I got about this much time. You in or out? All right, I could use the help. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? A uh, drink of what? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha, ha, ha. you're gonna love this. Alright, check it out. Blood? It's your new right Blood? Away. Your new champagne. Watch your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready though, cause hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. What do I do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do I, I mean, uh... Alright. You go down there, casually. Creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Won't he become a vampire then? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain him dry, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that stuff already. Yeah, you're 
you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. I don't know how I feel about it, but it, feel, but it does feel good. Alright now, you got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Yeah, like what? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's a new sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So I'm going to live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Got it. Okay, now. What the fuck is this? You get inside here and head upstairs. Meet up there. What the fuck is this? You do that. I'm gonna go collect my free lockpick. Oops, my bad. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat, they're uh, Christ, I was hoping to spare this shit till later. Uh, Sabat. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? So, what's up? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What's the prince a prince of? No time for political run. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabbat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing fledgling like he wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Frenzied Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I had my moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest, and that's what you can expect. Wait, I've still got a list of people from high school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. 
It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Ah, uh, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a pledging like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Oof. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. I see. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. Meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Got it. Okay, I wanna check what happens if I lower the sensitivity. Oh, I probably don't want to. Seems like it may be a, a bit too much. I don't know. I will do it like this for now. Seems a bit better, I guess. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Oh, yeah. What's the difference? Blood's blood, right? Well, when it comes to feeding, well, <laughs> you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD kit? Ooh, that's good stuff. If you say so. <laughs> Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Okay, let's say I get a little overzealous. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? What exactly does that mean? The beast? It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So I can't kill anyone? That seems a little, uh, restricting. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> uh-huh, isn't that convenient? I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. Don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. All right, now go feed. Careful though. 
He's gonna drain fast. Be back in a minute. Just here, yeah. <laughs> By the time we we're done speaking, I've already healed up, but hey. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you can do okay. worse. There's some rats down the way. <laughs> you can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I still got some thirst need between my teeth. <laughs> well, give it a try. I'll think about it. Eh, why not? I think it was only the ventures that healed from this. Maybe the Tory Dars is I don't know. It's been some time. Sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Oh yeah? <laughs> they can be polite and pass me the stall for my rats. Take it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. I'll do my best. See you in a minute. Alright, go. Gun. Mm -hmm. well, speaking of which, might as well make my first save. Oh, these are some of my old games. Is he coming this way now? Oh, that was interesting. Oh, there we go. A little hiccup. <laughs> On the stairs. A little too blocky. And what makes you think that? How can that be? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. I'll do my best. He is a vampire, so be ready. Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. Go get him. I'm on it. All right. Uh, was I supposed to use any of these? I don't think so. Take this. No, oh, that was as fast. All right. That's that. Sounds like we got another pack moving in though. The Sabat are going all out. Better head underground. Avoid straight bullets. Sounds like a good strategy. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Sure thing. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. The more the merrier. Ah, there we go. 
Blood buff, yeah. I'm gonna make another one. Say why not? I like uh, not reading the text. Let's try it without words. My lock picking is very low as it is anyway. Yeah, so. Presence the mystical projection of personality inspiring fear and awe. Okay. Yeah, see people Zoros. Increases perception and blah blah. Use aspect C Zora. Okay. I guess that could be ending stealth missions. I don't want to ask your hand up. He was too good for me, I guess. You got anything to say? I think they're clearing out. No need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here, we'll come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you over there. Meet you there. Don't let him catch you. No problem. Have some more armor. It seems I was doing more damage to the previous guy. I think. Mm -hmm. Use of celerity levels two to five is a masquerade violation. Don't use masquerade. Interesting. Clarity is very effective when used with a weapon, for example, yeah. Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. So what do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go no. die and lose it. I don't <laughs> use guns. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Useless against vampires? Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. I hear you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Okay. Was I supposed to show this a bit? There we go. I 
that's, that's where I was going. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, not bad. Very nice. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's all over? Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, this is normal? Well, to be honest, you came at a, well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Well, in LA, these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there, a lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. I was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. Sure, and here is your gun. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's just bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, we'll see you there. This is the official beginning. Gonna loot my own place first. We'll contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Okay. No, oh my god, of course. <laughs> I forgot about that stuff. Welcome, hey, welcome to town, come over to my place, yep, that's where I'm going. The opening, the game begins, a pawn is moved, from a friend, naturally. Hello LA, you're a great place for bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something Wait, what was that? Like I saw something there. Something pixelized. Nothing here, I think. Yeah. Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Oh, this. Um. Yeah, here. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Just very nice. Thank you. Oh, I saw you again, no humanity. Yeah, not maxed out. You could also use a drink, but I guess that's gonna have to wait. Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? 
What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? You should have listened to my mechanic by German, he said. I persuade you to help me out. My wallet's being stolen. Uh, actually, hmm. No, let's let's go for looking for another company. I'm happily married to my work, and I have a wife too. Oh. Well, I don't have. That's why I. <laughs> I was hoping for my seduction skills, but I guess it's not high enough. Do I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's being stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. Well, I tried. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. I'm going to need to bathe when I get home. I guess I should have um, waited a bit before speaking to that guy. Hey, my resort start hey, here with this. Going, girl? Do I know you? Oh man, wait! Say that again. Okay. Do I know you? Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? What vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Come on, you are too. Oh man, don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just wanna talk. All right, then let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it. I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were. I just could tell. I... Oh man, this is great. And... And I saw your teeth, and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you a vampire? How do you know all of this? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared, and, well, all of a sudden, bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. You said you were a ghoul? What's that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> ooh, ooh, watch out. Who is the vampire that made you a ghoul? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? You like being a ghoul? It's awesome. Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. But <laughs> so what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh man, you know important stuff to do. <laughs> well played, well played. See you around. All right, so I guess the reduction has been made. Time for another one. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you Mercurial? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shot me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head. It feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. You want me to call an ambulance? What? No. I got a record back east on heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. Okay, what happened to you? I got... I went... What is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit, my rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. 
It's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verify them. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show so up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Vamp blood? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Oh, Makes you me too. stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So, where do I find the asteroid now? Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, alright. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. Anything else? You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Alright, I will bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. In due time. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. If you don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. Doesn't that advance the quest a bit? Not really advance, but you know, give you some more clothes. Shark bite? No, it's in shark bites or something different. Whatever killed him. Head was missing, hands were missing. And there were these huge slashes. But. Bullshit. No, no. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. All right, yes, I'll leave them to it. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you are looking for. How do you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Well, thanks. Alright, so... Yeah, sure, I'll speak to them um, before I go. Uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Only in the movies. Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? 
No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh no. There, there's nothing no. I can do. Yeah, sorry. Good luck. Can uh, fool him by giving him this. What is it? Stick? A yeah, wooden stake. Telling him that it's magical or something. Anyway. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. What are you talking about? You mean you ain't here to run us off? No, why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. What? Well, why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods? But what clan are you from? Clan? <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just just what the the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How'd this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's well been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty, not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Go on. <laughs> she tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realize now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Are all the Southern Senior Thin Bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Maybe I should look into this whole thimble thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I'll ask around, see what I can dig up. I oh, would appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black haired beauty over there is Rosa. Huh? Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper, and the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Any idea what I might begin looking for information? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Maybe I could. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye. Mayhem, bro. E e evening. Are you okay? It's n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Yeah, so that was it for him. What about you? No, no, you are going to China. Oh, I definitely am, but not very soon. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You're not making any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. 
Oh, it's open. Oh god. Oh god. Run. I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. Come on, tell me more. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. If you don't want to talk, fine. Goodbye. I'm also a bit low on cash, aren't I? Uh, not too much. I think she required like 40 or something. Anyway, let's see how good my sneaking of one is. I could improve that right now, or I could go for lock picking, both of which I need at least a bit more of. Definitely more than one. Oh, also, which is the better weapon here between the two? Yes, this a bit better. I'm gonna make another save, because who knows how many times I'm gonna fail here. Oh wow, well, here is some. Oh, what? I wanna feed. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Freeze, motherfucker. Freeze. Okay, I kind of forgot what these did. Oh, it was this that uh, <laughs> what I spent points in. Yep, that's fine. I don't think this will work as well. Also. I have no idea if I can remove one of these. Nope, yes, it is. I think the worst part is that they also have guns, and, and there are enough of them. Wait, he didn't notice me this time? How come? He was perturbed, but really, there we go. Fix the lights, damn it! You turn on the power, bitch! Fix the lights, Get the Al. lights or I'll shove that control up your ass, Al. Al. All right, man. Shit. <laughs> Here we go. I think he's carrying a gun. Yeah. He's too close. Oh, I managed it. Very nice. 
panicked a little bit, but then I unpanicked several days. Oh, that is not even enough. Well, guess what, boys? Your lights are not coming up anytime soon. No. Wasn't there an alternative route here? Oh, looky here. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Oh no, it's locked. For... I don't remember how much Blood Bowl phrase it by. What was it? What's in perception? Yeah, that doesn't give no lock picking. You know, I'm actually not gonna waste my blood on this. I think I'm gonna need it for the fight. There is gonna be a fight no matter what. Oh wow, now all three are there. Fun stuff. That guy is here. If I'm correct, there should be no one else. Very nice, very nice. So far I've been very stealthy. Well, I actually got it. You gonna notice me? Possible. Oh, that's very sneaky here. Take your money. Keep it for myself. Okay, so I guess there won't be a fight. You could get some more bullets from them, but not necessarily. I don't think I've ever done this mission in a stealthy way. So, there goes. I'm almost out. Very nice. Let's see, do you have anything else to say? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Now, okay. I guess I'll go to the diner and then maybe I'll stop by the hospital. I actually don't remember where was the there was there. I may need to do some heavy duty lock picking. That is heavy duty for me. And this guy is here obviously. What'll it be, honey? 
Let's see what I can do here. Oh yeah, I could use the line. I'll try, let's see if it works. The cream's curled out. I can smell it, and I think there was a rat drop in there. You're the health inspector. Yes, I am. I suggest you order something healthy, like the cheese omelet surprise, inspector. If the cook doesn't spit in it, surprise. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, it didn't work. What'll it be, honey? <laughs> Uh, I guess I have to have intimidation from this or persuasion. I don't know. Have you ever seen any pale kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? Was this supposed to mention anything? Let's see, you see any girls hanging out here? Pale girls? Pale girls? Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. <laughs> Have you ever heard the term thin blood? Thin blood? Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Uh-huh. You see a couple in here a few months ago, surfer guy, pretty girl. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, it uh, pushes me back to this point. Alright, try to remember, when did you hear thin blood? Hmm, I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about it recently? That girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I've seen. That was a pretty good description right there. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Oh yeah, I definitely seem to know her. Well, thanks a lot. I'll be sure to do that. Yoink. What was that? Let's key. Alright, whatever. I guess I don't need to solve it. I can cheat because I know where to go. Hey, baby. Need company? I guess I won't go to the car right now. Let's try this. See what this is all about. Oh, wow. Straight up. Okay. Uh, not picking a source of dexterity. Oh, I can use. Not both. Otherwise, I can have a three points and then another three. That's an interesting proposition. That's one of that. Oh, I'm gonna need sneaking for the 
policeman upstairs. Uh, uh, please get a doctor. I'll see what I can do. Ah, uh, my insides. It hurts so bad. Why wasn't I supposed to <laughs> do something else there? Ah, yes, there's some morphine, material, I guess. So, yeah, I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else, no exceptions. But there's this girl over there, and I think she's going to die. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. D try to talk to her, keep her awake. But... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Dr. Roberts, a half hour ago. He'll be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Oh, we should have tried the other one. The other line first. Oh well. Hey you. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me, I can save you. Wait, can I save save all of her? Oh, there we go. Maybe my blood can save you. Nothing. I'm just a nurse. No, no. You did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You... I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? Look, forget about this and don't say anything. You'll be fine. You... I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. Uh-huh. Oh boy, I forgot that they give you this life. <laughs> Very interesting. I really must be going now. Hey you, I'm back. <laughs> I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Uh, here Malcolm. Your wife know about your affair? Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? I guess you don't care if your wife finds out then. Trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Then I'll go forward that email from page to trainer at solo.vtm. Wait now. What do you want? 75 bucks because I don't have enough persuasion and or intimidation. I think it was intimidation to get 150 from you. Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Never speak to me about that again. 
Who's in the mailbox for 508 in the apartments over the pawn shop, doctor? Nurse, I'll be in the bathroom. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, job's done. Mercurial? I brought you some morphine, how it's still? Oh, oh, holy Christ, I needed that. I got the Aston right back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Any that were in my way. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? No, sorry, I didn't find it. I'm giving you a money back. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway, uh, you'll be fine. You get some more vampire blood. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabbat interest. How do I find that this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. What? Well, why? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I had a question about some someone else. Who exactly? Jeanette Vorman. Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. <laughs> okay, I won't press. I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Bertram Tung. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Okay, I had some other questions about people. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. You could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, Back east, some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? You said something about blood? Right. You're straight off the bus. Oh, this Once again. a month, I get fed vampire. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. I had some other questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Uh. Well, he tells me that nowhere I can find where I can score some guns. Guns? Guy named Trip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call, he'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. That's actually a great idea. I can sell a couple of things to him. Other questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Uh, tell me about some of the power players in Santa Monica. Who exactly? I guess we went all over them, okay. Bye bye then. Good luck Nothing finding so a day around here.
up? Uh, hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? You um looking to buy or sell or? What's your name? They call me Trip. I own this shop. Nice to meet you, Trip. Thanks. You uh new to Santa Monica? Yes, I am. Is it that obvious? It's not a big surprise. We get new faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Why did they come here? Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. See, I'd like to buy something. Alright, here's what we got today. Never mind, I lied. I'd like to sew something. Okay, I won't need any of these anymore. And take this as well. And that's about it. For now. Let's see if I got some new emails. A favor from Lacroix. Yes, indeed. I'll actually go do that the right way. Actually, do I want to? Uh, I guess I'll do it, whatever. This will be good. Win some and then lose some humanity. Here we go. Already? Jesus! <laughs> it was nowhere to be seen. I barely entered, and he's like already shooting at me. Like, no suggestions, no warnings. Well, I caught it. I actually did not check which camera it is. And that's the one. What type of keys did I get? Okay, I don't remember this. But oh, it's uh, probably one of these rooms, eh? Okay. This is also probably not gonna work. Hmm. 
wrong about that okay oh well, this will help me with the hacking my bad wait what that was interesting oh yeah I remember this password now well too late is it the same nope think so. Oh wait, what? Never mind, it's not here. Wait, now it's active? Boo. Could it be no? There we go. Well, that's too high. I think it's only gonna raise by one, but I'm gonna try. I forgot what blood buff raised. This one, well, that's uh, negative. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, it works! Wow, I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be not enough. All right, now I'll take that extra money. Now. Anybody waiting for me? <laughs> yes, they are. How do I get out of here? I think this leads me to the other rooms. In this place. Will that lead to the basement area? Oh, not the basement, but yeah, this works. I forgot about that. Anybody here? Nope. Uh, they'll still be looking for me, though. No. Oh. Seems like I'm good. Okay, now what was I gonna do? I'm supposed to go speak. Oh yeah, let's uh, check the car. Probably not 
the most optimal place to be at right now, but I wanna progress that. I'm gonna have to go back to that place. Oh, I did not check what killed Patrick here. I could have got some information from there. He's also gonna give me the start to another quest. That's where I should have gone. Hey there. Hello there. How you been? Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? The only girl who will spend the night with you. You're on this place, I assume. Yep, sure do. I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few employees, but I handle most every aspect of the business. I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica doesn't sound like a good place to be living. Well, my business ain't bad, I can tell you that much. Santa Monica's gone downhill. Used to be pretty nice, I guess. We do a higher volume now than we did a few years ago, but we gotta deal with a lot more bail jumpers and crap like that. It sounds like Santa Monica has seen better days. Hell yeah, I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, Carla. Hi, Gib. Is tonight a rerun? Gib. Caller number three, what do you can do? It sounds like there's a lot of work here for a bounty hunter. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. Oh, you're pardon. Is the bounty hunter you have now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Can't you find another bounty hunter? Well, I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Of course. Why should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Before I go, could you answer a question? Sure, honey, what is it? Uh, let's see, I want to know about a few places in town. What place you want to know about? Do you know anything about the Galerie Noir? Ah, yeah, I know the place. Funny thing is, that spot used to hold a stinky old pet store. Now it's some hoity-toity art gallery with wine and cheese and whatnot. Yes, yeah, it's very ironic. Now I wanted to ask you about some place else. What place you want to know about? Is that Rico Fish? Now, try this. What do you know about the asylum? Oh, you mean that club? We get drunk and disorderlies and drug bust out of there sometimes. Some fights. The owners run it pretty tight though. Here, try this one. Who are the owners? You know, I'm not even sure. Couple of ladies, sisters, I think. You don't see them around here too much. I see. I want to ask you about another place. What place you want to know about? Uh, actually, I actually had a question about something else. Sure, honey, what is it? Actually, I lied. I'm going to get out of here. See ya. Let's see. And the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally need object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a granular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! She's an ATM machine. Anyway, maybe you're supposed to run around and 
try it everywhere and be you get some information from the diary with the soul of his dead wife there's something familiar about this ATM machine I love you wow those marketing guys are geniuses <laughs> Together, they're looking to make the most of their No extra XP, no nothing. That's fine. Or I could be skipping a few steps. Anyway. Time to go to the asylum. What's the hops, bro? What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? <laughs> yeah, I got the astrolite. Now I'm in the business of uh, <laughs> some astroturf. Frightening isn't the word I use. Exciting is more like it. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses? Really? When we get turned on, there's bound to be. And that's the best I got? Who are you? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Aren't you the tease? Got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Soon can't come soon enough. Goodbye. I'm looking for Therese. Where can I find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I need to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, I hear that from everyone, sweetheart. She expecting you or something? That's it. She's expecting me. Alright, look, I'll cut your break because we're busy here. I'll bust Therese tell her you're coming. Take the elevator over there. I'm I hear that you're not supposed to be there. You and me are gonna have a little heart to heart. You hear me? Thanks. Goodbye. What? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Nox. What's going on? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The master you can talk about? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh, man. His name's Bertram Tung. No kidding? Small world, I'm looking for him. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I... <sighs> Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears. What do you mean, just appears? It's crazy. Just appears out of like thin air. The first time, he, bam! Like to give me a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> oh man! Especially how he looks. Blech. The first time. So why did he choose you? Bertram says he's needed someone to do some things. Oh man! He'd been watching me work as a bounty hunter for a while, and bam! Oh man! It's so cool. It's like a job promotion, only I get to like flip forever and stuff. You were a bounce hunter? 
Can you tell me what he has you doing? So, what's the problem? Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now, instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like, up in the distance, watching me, warm up next to me. Oh man, that must be unnerving. I was waiting till I talked to Bertram, but well, hell if I know where he disappeared to. <laughs> it's messed up. Or maybe if you put a couple of bullets, it'd be better. Uh, all right, I really want the experience. So here we go once again. You want me to take care of it? Hell yeah! Right on. Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know. The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Java's license? Shouldn't that tell you who he is? No. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. Alright, I'll take care of it. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Yep, sounds good, Nox. I have a couple of questions. Oh man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? So, what is Bertram like? Oh man, well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh man, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really I guess that's the Nosferatu's thing, you know? <laughs> they like, know everything, I guess. I guess. Can I ask you a couple more questions? Oh man, yeah, sure! What do you want to know? Do you like being cool? Yeah, it's awesome! Man, after that first date the vampire blood, it's like the best drug. And I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. Just made me feel like I was better at everything. Felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Alright, I'm out of here. Later. Bounty Hunter. Hey there, you. Since I walked in here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off of you. You think I'm really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you hear it all the time. Mm. I have something I want to tell you. Come closer. Oh yeah. Alright, that's enough. Sheesh, is this place always so dead? I'm here now, so the party has officially started. Really? And what are you bringing to the party, huh? Got anything I can't get out in Arizona? Anyone at this place is so straight edge. Drugs? I don't need drugs, but I can share my ecstasy with you. Now you've got me curious. Come here, and I will show you why it killed the cat. It's a long time until sunrise. Wanna come play with me? Oh yeah, oh night long. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That is how long all night long lasts. Let's spin a couple of moves to say why not.
Oh, yes. I guess no. Business and business is calling. Come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. If you say so, I guess that means you're Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? I could piss you off a bit, I guess. I need you to call the field with Bertram Tongue. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Why do you hate him? Hmm. Oops. I'd be willing to put Wrong the button. word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Spirit? Do you mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. I <laughs> don't have time for this Halloween bullshit. <laughs> Wars, funny, I'm playing this in October. Um... Oh wow, that's big. If I were to kill you, wouldn't Bertram come out of hiding? Sure, I'll do it. What do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. And what if I can't find one? If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. Mm -hmm. How do I find the ghost? You don't. They're perfectly harmless. How, how do I fight the ghost? Never mind. <laughs> I already passed my point. Why don't you go? As much as I'd like to ensure it's done properly, you're in no position to refuse. That is, if you still want me to call off the feud. Okay, I'll do it if you promise to call the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. Mm -hmm. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. I can respect that, and I appreciate it. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. 
The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Sewers? You can seriously expect me to wade through such filth. Listen, you're young and naive, so I'll offer you this chance one more time. Continued existence versus a beautiful sunrise. I give it serious consideration. If I must very well. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. Alright, uh, bye. to find some info in him. Yeah, maybe I'll go back to the guy, why not? girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? No extra XP, I guess. That's a shame. I still haven't gone there. Ocean house. Okay, I have a couple of points now. I won't need anything, I don't think. So, save those. Are they gonna be still looking for me here? I guess I don't need to go up, but still kind of wondering. This girl, but he guarded some note there. I remember that gave you some information. Could be the same. Pff, never mind. Let's speak to him. He's probably going to say you're not supposed to be here, so I might as well leave.
Let's suppose to do something here. So it just gives you information. Don't mind if I help myself out. Calm down, tell me who you are. Let me go. Okay. Oh, so I'll let you go. Here goes nothing. You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! never been so satisfying all of it i drank until i heard his heart stop and i was sucking on a dry dead artery it was euphoric but i've i've killed him i've never killed anyone before what happened what came over me <laughs> the beast took over it happens why couldn't I stop myself? Why did it feel so right? Shh, calm down. It's alright. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Lily? You're the one he told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I said I'd help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E. He said he forgives you. He wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? Nope, quite the opposite. You should talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. I promise, Lily. It's not your fault. You can't help it. Goodbye. 
Actually, I think we're gonna see each other one more time. Oh well. Oh well. Not when I know how you're getting it? Oh yeah. What can I do to set this straight? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. <laughs> I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Really? Where should I look? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. No, 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 no. The missus... She don't appreciate it. Fine, now check out the asylum. Goodbye. Maybe not. We're just curious what the quest was. I may end up not doing it after all. Okay, well, the Asian guy. It's gonna be a toughie, I think. So, I'm not gonna be too hasty about that one. I wonder if I can send an ox. That's probably gonna reduce my humanity also. How come I have max? I thought I had fewer points and by my calculations it should have been like this two away from what is it like 10 max? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So Asian guy Oh, yeah, they tell me to go and talk to you. Okay, I'll go right now. Get it out of the way once and for all. Tell me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped us, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. I remember that. You welcome me. Keep her safe. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Next one. Jack comes out of the box. I don't like the sound of that. Goodbye. Does she have something to say? Hi. Then how did it go with E? This life's been hard on him. Well, it's pretty Both obvious now. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there as long as we're together. <laughs> uh, good luck to both of you. Bye, Lily. You have anything you to say? There's nothing I can do. I I'm damned. Yep. Good luck. Mayhem, bro. Indeed.
So is it here? Yes. I'm surprised they show me all this stuff I have. Oh, I have inspection of all two points. Wow. With a perception. Wait, did I actually pick it up? I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. Oh, well. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. And this one's like eight, I believe. Yeah. And not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, try not to die. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be fine by now. What the hell? Hello? Hello? Might I speak with Mr. McGee? Hello! He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? I don't actually. What sort of appointment was this? Really? Maybe I could come down and model for you. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Sounds good. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. This guy is also not very easy to beat, usually. Oh yeah, my money, I forgot about that. Uh, what is the werewolf stuff? Uh, give? There we go. Actually, I'm gonna quickly exit and enter. <laughs> On that instant delivery of cold, cold hair cash. Yes. Thank you very much. Has great redemption. Where is the death of night? The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning. Okay, any news? Nicely done. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, 
we've got a few points now. This can I guess I could also use that. Ah, so the two weights want option then two two. Let's spend some hacking. Okay, now we'll keep them. Now let's see how this will go down. Do I have anything else to do? Let's guide on up on there, the ocean house hotel. And by the way, I haven't saved in a while, so I'm gonna do just that. Yes, may I help you? <laughs> I'm on a blood try. I could use some symbol. Hello, I spoke with you on the phone a while ago. Oh, right, right, I'll buzz you in. That's. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here for the modeling job? Good, good. You seem to have rather well-developed limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. Well, it's not just the limbs, if you don't mind me saying so. I'm a Toreador. Uh, who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh. Dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Nice to meet you, Stan. I'm ready to get started if you are. Aha! An eager participant! Very good. Just give me a few moments to get my equipment ready, and then come on in and we'll get started. Okay. Oh, that looks like <laughs> some sort of a ghost or an aura thing. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm done waiting. Oh my god, what is this? Uh, wasn't I able to open this? Or is it this? Oh no, there was a fridge. I was going to say downstairs, but it's not downstairs. Very well. Uh, not much point in checking all of these. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, oh, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? Are you done? Let's see how good is my pistol. I could have also used blood buff. Oh, I'm on the bullets. Yeah. That's why I just go for the melee stuff. Oh wow, that was a nice hit. Very nice. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, I take it. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. 
He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. See ya. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Yeah, better come back with the police. Okay, I'll take that arm. Thank you very much. Nothing else for me here. Yeah, that's what I remember. And that must be McGee. <laughs> Not too much left of him anymore. What's shaking? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? He ain't coming back. Just forget about it, Mario. Um, his trigger finger got curled by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, Indeed. hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Uh, another boy. Not this time. <laughs> What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Uh, you haven't paid me for the for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks. About that job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Hello, Gomez. What's the I suppose I could do that. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that, small time stuff mostly. What did he do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay, so about the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Alright, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. I'll let you know as soon as I found find out something. Well, I 
guess he's a lucky man this time because he's not going to have to wait very long. Hey, Mayor, it's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. Okay, that's it. Now, there we go. Hey there, hot stuff! Hey, I've got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He fled someplace downtown. Alright then, I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You can thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thanks. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Yeah, well, later. Alright, so that doesn't conclude the quest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to look for somebody. But I can come later. Time to go to the spooky place. Now, where do I approach it from? Yes, yeah, this is good enough. That ain't it. Uh, let's see. Ocean House Hotel and there, okay. Oh, wait, I can feed them some rats. I guess I don't really need it. Still, not much is required.
save here, I guess. Oh, wow, I'm in straight. There is no hole, really? Oh, there will. Yeah, we'll do it the usual way. That's what I wanted. See if I'm gonna make it. Eight. Wow, I wonder what's inside. My bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, this is what's inside. Okay, I guess I forgot the layout on this place. Uh, what was this next? Yes, this. Spark here is not very fun. Don't I jump ahead? Eh. So we have to do worse is coming though. Right, so here we have this. Isn't I supposed to come here? Or is she pointing you here? There we go. Yep. Trying to. <laughs> I'm supposed to read the diary. I get it.
This was a good position. Isn't it this way? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh wow! Is there always a cobweb here? I. I don't think I've ever noticed it. I guess because usually I go by so fast, yeah, they still hit me. Whatever, never mind. Uh, this is much, much cleaner. Well, That's uh, very nice. Oh, well, it's more. Just in time for some elevator to drop on my head. Alright, I guess uh, this is my stop. Right now, I wonder who I could possibly send there. What about this guy? Probably not. Else you'd eat, beautiful. Uh, nope. I missed you. Did you miss me? Yeah. 
Terribly. Let me show you how sorry I am. Nope, not yet. Damn, dude, damn. Oh, damn, <laughs> really oh man. Alright, I will catch you later. Oh no. Is it hard? It's not these guys. Yep. A dog party over at the blood bank. Totally. Um, nope. I'll get back to you. <laughs> I was just, just having, having naughty thoughts about you. You made quite an impression earlier. Did you come up just to cheer lonely little me? Actually, I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? I need to give something to Therese. It's from the hotel. Ooh! <laughs> Can I see it? Uh, I'd rather give it to Therese. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? No, please calm down. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for, for two, two lifetimes? Life. Can you? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Threes. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, Fine. Since you were so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? Yeah. What would put a smile on that face? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized Not quite, there. no. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. For you, anything but giving you the... You know, necklace, of course. Or brace, whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Hmm. Alright, I'll go slash the paintings. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. Oh yeah. But in the meantime, me get to too. the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up! 
I can only amuse myself for so long. Be back soon. Goodbye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh well, have fun, Duckling. I will. I'm surprised that guy is still there. He usually leaves quickly. Right, let's see what I can do here with this. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you're committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Wow, the way you said that, it was so commanding. Huh. Well, Missy, that's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position. Huh? The risks, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Oh yeah, don't forget about the uniform. Well, no secret, power is a real turn on to me. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's a uniform, you know. Yeah. Women just can't get over the uniform. Mm hmm Oh, don't stop talking. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613. <laughs> How about we get to know each other better right now? Oh, really? I could have actually used this after the fight. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. You'll be knocked out. I got the key. Okay, can I move that right now? Very interesting. Okay, well, actually, maybe I should have saved here. I have no bullets. Where's the knife? Best. Yep, the knife is the bestest. That's not gonna be enough. Very nice. 
I have just lost my words. Not my problem. I could use a refill. Hey, you. Uh, mommy is here to get a little more sugar. Want to come play with me? Have to be careful now. Not to send her to that maniac in the hospital. I can get him to deal with me later. Anyway. I missed you. Did you miss me? Terribly. Let me show you how sorry I am. Are you thinking? Hi. The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? But shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you? I didn't do it. I swear. Don't lie to me. Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tung's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Wait, what? Why do I have the same line twice? <laughs> and the right answer is three. None of the above. At least I got your damned item from the ocean house. Here, take it. My museum is wrecked! Do you understand? Now, if you'd like to atone, or if you'd like to provide further assurance of your innocence, I have one more task that has to be dealt with. We had an agreement. We had an agreement. You blew that agreement. Even if my sister was at fault, you played into her hands. And I've all but had her destroyed for her actions against me. In fact, I may have been too severe with her. I need to talk to Tung. Is there something I can do? I made some threats <laughs> against my sister. Idle threats can involving fire me? and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth near the phones. I'll go and then the field is off. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Okay, I'll do. Oh, this still takes its time. Okay, uh, this will be interesting. Again, no bullets. I guess this hey will there. help me. I need to save, is what I need. 
just in case. Oh, hi there. Now you better get out of here. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, they're not approaching me. Okay. Okay, I remember these guys being way tougher than uh, what I encountered just now. But this guy also had a shotgun. Hmm. This presence is really good, eh? And that's just level one. Hello? It was a setup. Listen, I know we've had our differences, but you have to trust me. Therese tried to have you killed. Oh, I had to lock myself nice. in the bathroom because now she's got a gun and please you have to help me. Slow down. Tell me what happened. Therese knew it was you at the gallery all along. She set you up and did you hear that? She's crazy. She paid those thieves for a hit. She'll kill anyone who gets in the way of her becoming the top dog of Santa Monica. All right, I'm coming over. Goodbye. Hurry! I don't know how much longer I have. I'm on my way. Yeah, with the police after me, I also don't know how much longer I have. <laughs> Hopefully, this uh, can be resolved nicely and peacefully. Okay. I guess I'm gonna wait here for a while. I also don't remember the police getting involved. Maybe should have stayed crouched, huh? Oh, wow, I have a ton of points now. Okay, I definitely want one of these. Wait, that's just four points? I thought it was six? I guess I forgot. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Sneaking. Yeah, sneaking will have to be improved further. That's eight. And fifteen. Hmm. Like this, I think they disperse. Let's see if I'm correct. Is that a cop? Yes, it is. Oh, they're all cops. <laughs> they were mine.
You never saw me. Ah, there we go. You stay out of this! To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood! This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead! Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter, until... Shut up! Just shut up! Go on, Janet. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. That doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Uh, let's make it more one said. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What happened to your father, Jeanette? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there and she saw me lying with him and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit I always knew this night might come. Well, 
Any message you want me to give Father? An apology? A love letter? Grab the gun, Jeanette. Yeah, good luck. I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. You wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? I understand. Goodbye. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime. And I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. Uh, I'll come back. I promise. Goodbye. <laughs> The words I promise don't really mean much in this town, unfortunately. Alright, do I have anything else to do? Oh, the... The Asian guy, that's right. Perhaps you should look into this. Was it supposed to go all the way? I'm not gonna go. I'm not even sure if it gives you any experience. Right, hold on. I got just one point, oh, I got more points. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this. I'm not sure if you want to go for this one yet. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hacking will have to be improved soon. Oh. Let's see what I can do here now with this guy. Oh, I probably want to reload my guns. Wow, I actually did not get that many bullets. But this will be fun. Red points. Do I get anything from this? Not sure. I'll just go in. Sup. Damage, what the hell? Oh, that's about it. Can he? Oh, wow. damage all right wait I can't get his crossbow oh he's with his sword in hand that's why I can't pick anything up okay nothing here time for me to go
actually this post doesn't go. Yes. Yo, girl, you do that thing yet? I did. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. Yes. That thing was hounding me like every night. Look, still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? Uh, still let him know, but for now, I have no way to repay you. Do you have any idea what that thing was? Bertram said it's like a vampire, but different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. Lots of them have been coming to California for some reason, I don't know. That's interesting. I'd better be going. I missed you. Did you miss me? Mm -hmm. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, did you, sweetheart? You knew I was looking for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Ah, oh, so you're who I'm waiting on. Hmm. Someone must have faith in you, Cupcake. That, or they want you out of the picture. <laughs> Interesting choice either way. <laughs> it must be Bertram Tongue. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. You do? News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. That's great. So you know I survived. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I need to get to that warehouse for my curio. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. The Sabbat? The Sabbat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, cause none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it, and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. But should they expect to encounter humans there? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovel heads. Ugh, losers. They know they're working for vampires? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as... Upholding the masquerade. Right. Can you get me in there without being detected? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. 
You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. I was born ready. Let's go. Can I slap somebody with this arm in a sneaky beaky kind of way? Let's see, what do you have for me? Oh, really? Oh, their sense for preservation is very good. Uh, get up. There we go. Much better. Now what do we have here? No one. Think it's good. Oh. Yeah, that's not it. Do I even want to open this? I guess that works, he doesn't mind me. <laughs> here tonight. Marcus is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe you heard something. Like what? Like I don't know. What's in this one? Eye. Oh, it's not. Someone better tell those clowns at the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts eating fucking cats. You know what I'm saying? Inside, watching the steps. Guess Mark is kind of scared of him, you know. Shit, I guess Junior's smarter than he looks. Go. Pick this up, no. Hey, oh, okay. Picking that up. This work. This should help, right? There we go. Oh, there is the third guy. <laughs> right next to the door. Has noticed me yet? Oh, it's those guys. Okay. Yeah, you better stay there. 
so far in here. What is this? Oh, it's a tire. He had a gun at one point, but I guess he switched away from it. Is this supposed to go there? Yeah, this is the spot. Man, my sneaking is really suffering. I don't feel like spending points even in sneaking yet. I'm definitely gonna need it later on. Hey, where you going, man? Yep. to go for more uh, gun action but I did not buy any bullets and my sneaking sucks oh yeah there's some bullets here maybe I'll use some of those yeah there was a bunch more. Very nice. I don't want to go there. I think that's about it. Too, too many enemies here. That's kind of fun. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'll go push this off. Look at that. Uh, is this connected? Kinda. Interesting. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I had known this was gonna go down like this, I was gonna kill these guys for it.
Huh? Nice. Huh? Huh? No enemies. And they're probably somewhere outside. Oh, really? What is that for? I don't know. An alternate route, they could probably go over there. Very well. This can also be dropped on top of their heads, probably. Okay, I guess it's time for me to go. No, oh, I'm supposed to fight him. Okay. So be it. Zoom. What the? Are you a werewolf? That's one way to deflect <laughs> the question. <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. You're not going to kill me? I hadn't planned on it. Who are you and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Uh -huh. Tell me. Have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I saw a ghost at the local hotel. A ghost? <laughs> Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. I met some kindred on the beach that didn't see my kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Okay. I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary, I guess. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Perhaps. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. 
We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabat. Night, Beckett. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Do you know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? I met your girl, Nox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. You mean how eager I would be to help, anyway. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. It sure didn't seem like he was expecting me. Come on, fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. Okay, but he needed my help. I killed an Asian vampire who was stalking him. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox, huh? Well played, Bertram, well played. Speaking of which, any experience points? Don't take it hard, Cupcake. I won't be the last elder to give her a favor. I guess I already got it. Um, I want to talk about someone else. Sure. What do you think of Prince Lacroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about the guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. I want to ask about someone else. Sure. What about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Uh, can I ask you about someone else? Was there someone else? Sure. No. Okay, now let's go. From what I hear. Learn again. I see what you're saying. I want to ask you about the clans. Sure. Tell me about the Bruja. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. Like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. I want to ask you about another clan. Sure. Uh, tell me about the Gungro. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangro can walk upright. They just choose not to. Okay, another clan. Sure. Tell me about the Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work and, uh... Not all of them are worth listening to, but uh, 
they're all good fun, if you ask me. Yeah, I bet you'd say something like this. Another clown? Sure. Another clown? Mm. Tell me about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Well, lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Are the Nosferatu part of the Camarillo? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. Do you like them? The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla. So they take care of us. They value our services. Or, uh... Don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. Okay, another clan. Sure. Mm. Uh, tell me about the Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. <laughs> astute all, all the, all, all, all. astute observations made from the safety of a rat hole. Save it, Cleopatra. Your silver Save tongue it. might get tarnished licking this hide. <laughs> Disgusting worm. Moving on. Like what? Anyway, another clan. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Okay. Mm. Tell me about the Tremere. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. Okay, another clan? Sure. Tell me about the Ventru. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Alright, now, tell me about the sects. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell me about the Anarchs? The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? Well, I already asked about nines. I get you. What about the other sects? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Camarilla? I think I already asked about that as well. The Camarilla works. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. What's a caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Mm-hmm. What about the other sects? Yeah. I want to know about the Sabbat. You ask me, the Sabbat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops, I'm dead. Now how did that happen? All right, see ya. Oh, good. A good amount of points, so which I soon can spend on this. That could be nice. And depending on what I want to do, I may need some more. 
making. Let's see. Okay. I want to check my emails. I probably should come back after that, but and I may very well do that. That was interesting. But just in case. Oh, I have a few things to sell. I forgot about that. I guess I'll sell them in downtown. The first move from a friend, the White King moves to protect his pawn. Caller, you've got the first shot at death. Just drive to downtown. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, huh, Lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camera the fuck. <laughs> Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. Thanks for the help. Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the Burbs. Yeah, I remember that. You do that. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Mm -hmm. So here it is, downtown once again. All right. Well, I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna go. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.